Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'm going to show you the next step of the application where the doctor is able to look at the patients which are coming in and he can view the details as well. So the flow is, this is the dashboard of the receptionist. When a patient's appointment is confirmed, let's say I do this, it is removed from this list and the doctor will be able to see that over here along with the time okay now this is right now a utc time but i will be converting this into the local time zone using js libraries maybe date js or something like that but the idea is the server sends the data to the dashboard of the doctor the doctor clicks on view to see the details of this patient and he can add some data about the problems that the patient is facing and a prescription now obviously this is not the exact ui because i will be adding some text area with an editor over here but you get the general feel right so let's get started and see what code changes i have done to get that functionality into working so the first thing is let's go to this route which is doctor slash dashboard so i have doctor slash dashboard controller is doctor controller and this is the index method so let's open it up the index method is obviously getting the appointments so i have appointment service i have a method called get appointments if we go into the service the appointment service what it does is it is looking for appointments with certain conditions for example the first parameter is today equals false so if i don't send this i have a conditional query which says when today is true then the date should be now formatted as year month and date so it's a conditional query similarly if i have confirmed equals true then give me only those um, appointments where visited equals one right and where time is not equals null which means the patient has come and the time is still not set okay so with this query in place i am sending you know, the first parameter is true which is what do we have in here which is today right because the doctor will be looking at only the appointments for today and the second is obviously that and it should be confirmed so with that we get certain appointments obviously this is paginated and then we are sending that information to doctor render uh, sorry inertia render and the, the the view file in our case the react component is doctor dashboard dots dot tsx okay so let's see we can close the service file over here we can see that we are expecting props which is appointments so appointments is of type ipaginate appointment which means it's a paginated object and we are expecting appointment object inside that right so we have this is the component it's a functional component we are expecting props and we are getting the appointments over here now let's look at the render function first so we have the template which is our typical format this is the divider with my dashboard name in it which is basically this over here correct let's go inside then we have row inside the row we have a 24 column layout and then we have appointment table now if you remember the appointment table component was used in this page as well which is home correct this is the receptionist table this is the doctor table okay and you can see that there are some conditional buttons over here because home shows confirm and cancel whereas doctor dashboard shows view so let's look at how we have done this we have the appointment table component we are expecting appointments table data change these are the two functions again this is something which i have already shown so i will go a little quick handle confirm appointment is basically the function which is called when there is a change in the data table okay and hence you can see we are sending this okay table columns is here oh my bad basically handle confirm appointments is so let me go over here 
this is the confirm right so confirm buttons parameter or the function is passed as a prop to this okay and hence we have over here this function anyway so then we have table columns table columns is something which i am getting from this new file where i have refactored the code a bit so what has happened is because of the condition let me first show you what was happening so this columns right so i have id which is fine then we have name phone number date and time so id name phone number date and time but then there were two conditions if it is dashboard and if it is not dashboard right so this the first the not condition because we created the um, receptionist view first so in that we have two columns which is actions then the confirm button and the cancel button but then this is basically a condition because when the route is for the receptionist we want a confirm and a cancel button however when this same appointment table is shown to the doctor what are we doing we again have an app actions column but in here we only have view and no other button and that is why what i did i took the entire column okay constant column equals so i created an array out of it okay this is my primary logic and i am returning this column over here export default appointment table columns this is a function which returns this hence what i'm able to do is i'm able to get table columns equals an array and i'm kind of appending whatever is coming from this file and that table column is passed to the appointment table as you know, the data for the columns and that is how i am able to move the all the entire view logic into a different file and now my component is quite small if you see the previous version if you look at it right in in github you will see that this file was basically more than 90 or 95 lines of code i was able to remove almost 80 lines of code from the appointment table tsx file into its own tsx file and yes it was t it is tsx because i have some markup inside it okay all right so let's move ahead so we have seen how the doctor dashboard is showing the appointments table and the appointments table has some modification which is specifically for the doctor because that page shows the doctor a view button whereas the dashboard shows the confirm and view when the doctor clicks on doc the view button it takes the parameter and it is doing a id based route which is doctor slash widgets slash four these are quite straightforward routes if we see doctor visit and then we have appointment as route model binding and what are we doing inside the visit controller let me close the other files open up visit controller which function are we looking at we are looking at view and then the update so first look at the view function because of route model binding we are getting the appointment variable over here right laravel will load this model based on the id but then we also want other relationships for example patient and visit so i have added those two okay and then we are doing inertia render and we are passing the appointment data which means patient checkup tsx file should have interface called appointment it is i appointment this is not a paginated data unlike the doctor dashboard so i appointment okay then we have this form pretty straightforward the left side is some basic stuff which i think we have over here patient age weight location br br that kind of stuff pretty simple whereas the second column is where we are creating a form so if you see i have used the form dot use form this is the hook which is available right and we are taking the pay and we are extracting that with a variable called patient check so patient check is our form we have a name initial value is empty then we have the problems text area and the prescription text area and then the submit button on submit what are we doing on finish this is the function which i'm calling it adds the visit id 
okay, because that is required, and then it does a post visit dot update, and we are passing all the values. So prescription we are getting, the problems we are getting, visit ID we are app appending because we are getting that from the appointment data which is coming as the prop, okay, because we are doing route model binding. Then visit update. What are we doing over here? So we are using the update function. So let's look at that. This is again a very simple update method. I have a request validating problems prescription visit ID. I have made it only required and nothing else because I am doing a find or fail. If I do exist, then it will make two API calls. Oh, sorry, it will mean two queries. Same query will be filed twice because it will check whether a visit exist with that id and then i'll have to anyways load that visit so i am doing it like this visit find or fail updating the problem updating the prescription is complete is one we are expecting the doctor will save this information when the patient has been seen okay then we are saving and then we are taking the doctor back to the dashboard where he can see the rest of the information or the rest of the appointments so yeah that's about it guys this is how i have built the doctor's dashboard thanks for watching guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel